Oh, hey, how's it going? Uh, real quick video because I just wanted to show something that I just figured out. Um, I, for a long time, have been trying to find a good workflow for using uh, child of constraints. They're super useful, especially when uh, locking something. Like I just have this hand here, locked to the gun for this part of the animation. Um, and it's easier than keyframing and all that stuff. So looks great, nice. Uh, and how I'd have to do it before is same thing in here, just setting the uh, location and the uh, influence at the beginning and same thing at the end. But it would, because it's a child of constraint, it would take all the animation and basically layer it on top of each other, um, which isn't what I want. Uh, so what I have to do before is come down to like the master here and basically just like delete these keyframes or something like that. And it was a very destructive process. But with this, if you set this um, layer up here to replace and uh, just set the interpolation, or sorry, uh, extrapolation to nothing, then for this little area, um, and this is where the keyframes are for this, it will basically override everything underneath of it. So although, like if I disable this, uh, you can see the hand goes anywhere. Like there's there's animation keyframes for that. This will override it and tell it, nope, you will follow this constraint and this constraint only. It will ignore all your other keyframes. Because as far as it's concerned, it's only keyframes are here and here, and 90% of them are exactly the same. Um, anyways, just a little technique that I like literally just figured out, um, and it uh, is gonna save me a lot of time, and I thought that I would share it with the rest of you. Hope you have a great day, and uh, thanks for watching.